Most employers offer health savings account, which is HSA, and a flexible spending account, which is FSA. If you qualify for HSA and have an HSA account, in today's video, we're gonna examine how you can leverage your HSA as a retirement strategy. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys, Mr. V here with Plenties.com, helping you reshape your financial health. If you're new here, we talk about life, we talk about careers, we talk about money and how to get it to impact your financial health. So consider subscribing and hey, at any point during this video, you can check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. The health savings account is actually designed for you to use to pay for qualified medical expenses. So you put in pre-tax money into this account and in some cases your employer would even give you some incentives and give you some extra money to put in this account. And then when you use this money for any qualified medical expenses, at the end of the year, if there's any balance in this account, you can roll that over to the next year. There is no use it or lose it rule like you have with the flexible spending account. Most people are using the HSA account as a retirement loophole. For people that are healthy and don't have a lot of medical expenses, if you have an HSA account, this is a good bucket for you to put in extra money that you can invest and enjoy the power of compounded interest and build wealth. And how does it work for you to be able to use your HSA as a retirement account, you may ask. So here's how it works. You can contribute a maximum of about 3400 if you're an individual into your HSA account or 6700 if you are a couple and so if you don't use that money then you can roll it over so you don't have to worry about using the money or losing it you can now invest that money in good old index funds and watch it grow enjoy the power of compounded interest here is where it gets even more interesting when you use your HSA account as a retirement loophole you get a triple tax benefit. First, the money is tax deductible. Second, the money grows tax deferred. And third, you can use it tax free for qualified medical expenses. And if you are over age 65, then you can use that money for non medical expenses. And if you use it for non medical expenses before you turn 65, you charge a 20% penalty. So more and more Americans are using HSA as a retirement strategy. Even though HSA is just a fraction of what you've stashed into your 401k and your IRA account, it still adds a sizable income for your retirement. The average HSA account holds about $15,000 in it. So think about how that can impact you in your retirement. So quick tips for leveraging your HSA account for a retirement strategy. Number one, save fund your medical expenses, especially if you're healthy, you don't go to the hospital, you don't have, if you don't have any medications that you have to buy every month or so, you are a prime candidate. Number two, max out your contribution to your HSA account. And number three, invest long-term. And if you're not thrilled with the stocks and funds that you have in your HSA investment, then you can roll your HSA account into another HSA administrator that has the proper bonds and stocks that interest you and you can invest long term so question of the day do you have an HSA account and are you leveraging your HSA account as a retirement strategy let me know in the comment section below and hey remember that some of the best tips comes from you guys in the plenteous community so definitely connect with each other in the comment section like the video if you like it and hey subscribe to the channel for more videos like this don't forget to hit that notification button so that when i upload a new video you'll be the first people to be notified remember here at plant Juice, we are helping you reshape your financial health keep crushing that debt and we'll talk soon